Health, Beauty, Life, the show was created to recognize and explore trends in celebrity, food, beauty and fashion, health and fitness, travel and lifestyle. Hosted by Patrick Dockery. Here we are in a secret location in Beverly Hills, and we're going to Mr. Peeney's shop. I mean, this is uh, where it all happens as far as wigs, hair pieces, hair extension. He's the master. He's been gracious enough to let us come in and see his inner workings of the inner sanction of Mr. Peeney. So follow me this way, because we're about to see something amazing. Actually, we're going to probably go in the secret entrance there. Side gate over here. Behind these brick walls lays a master. Here we go, into the realm of Peeney. When I design a wig for somebody, I just don't make one to fit everybody. I looked at, when they come for consult, I check their density, textures, and, and how comfortable they feel because, you know, to wear a wig, some people get sometimes irritated by that, but most of my wigs are very light, like almost super light, that you can feel like it's, it's nothing, there. nothing there. So I have no problem telling them that there's no heat involved when you wear the wig, even in the summer. And uh, as I said, I design my wigs to match their, what they're used to. If somebody have fine hair and thin hair, not a lot of hair, I will make the wig the same density, maybe a little bit more, but not overdoing it. If somebody has a lot of hair and they're used to it, I'll have to do the same thing. So I usually make them feel like when I shave their hair and the moment they, I put the wig on, they feel exactly the feel of density when they touch the hair. They feel like it's what they had before. And then I match the color. I take a picture before and I consult with them. And I, every highlight, every low light, I really paint it on the wig. So when I put it on and they look in the mirror, they say, wow, it looks like my own hair. And that's my satisfaction when I make my wigs. Absolutely. <clears throat> well, they're gorgeous. I mean, you have all varieties here, I noticed. You have, you have short to long, you have a redhead, a beautiful blonde here. Beautiful blonde one here. Oh, that's Again. gorgeous. Again, as we see here, I start with dark here. That's the color that I start all over. And then putting a lot of time and coloring and highlight, I made it look like it's the so real hair. Beautiful. And you oh, can see blonde. the scalp still showing. Absolutely amazing. Okay. And that particular wig has a lace front. I bond the lace into that so they can brush their own hair back. It doesn't look like it's, it's, it's a wig on. Yeah, this all just disappears, literally. Disappears. We cut the extra material. If you don't mind me asking, yes. how much would a wig of this caliber run an individual, generally? Between, <clears throat> I would say, uh, 2800 all the way to twenty five, twenty six thousand dollars Right. Well, we appreciate the quality, and we appreciate you taking your time to show us this just these, this gorgeous work that you do. This is amazing. So, Pini, are you ready to take us down to the workshop? Let's go. Come on this way. This is where it all happens. This is very secret, and not everybody gets to come down here, so we are privileged. Come on. In the business of hair extensions and wig, they call me the guru. That's how they used to uh, uh, Prefer, to you. prefer for me in, in one of the shows that I did, like uh, Swan and like, Extreme Makeover. And you're working on all the big movies virtually? I've done, I would say, about 20 movies. Oh, 20 great. big movies. Great. From, uh, from Rain Man, I did Tom Cruise for that movie, to John Travolta. I created the look for, uh, for uh, Pulp Fiction. <clears throat> I created that design, the look on his hair, and I got credit in the movie so I can talk about. Yes. And uh, I've done Charlie Sheen in, let's say, about six or seven, maybe ten movies. Right, they Anything need the done. different looks for the different, different characters. Different look for the character. Besides doing movies, I know that you do a lot of work with cancer patients. Yes, one time I did a young girl and uh, I shaved her hair and I put a wig on her. She was like 14 or 15. And her mother called me the next day and she said that the husband said when she's going to get the wig because she didn't lose her hair yet and he didn't know that she had a wig on. That make me feel like I can help 
people overall. So I decided to get into it very strong and I'm doing a lot of cancer patients. Oh, well, that's good work. That's work from the heart. Yes. You know, I, I feel that you are a very heartfelt person, very sensitive person. I think that's part of why people love your work so much. I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Can you show us some of your... Most of the hair I buy, it's ponytails and it's the natural curl of the hair, virgin not curl of the hair. So the, the more natural it is, that doesn't, it's not have, it doesn't have enough, uh, it's not being processed enough a lot. It's easier for me to make good quality because then I can create any color I want without hurting the hair or uh, the texture. So usually I buy mostly blonde, natural, brown, light brown natural, and very dark natural. So I can just color it. I can take this little bond, uh, dark hair, and since the hair is so strong, I can make it platinum without damaging the hair, and the hair will feel still strong. So that's the reason I like to use virgin hair. It's never been processed. Awesome. So Penny, what's what are we doing here? Okay, uh, we have a since we make everything in house, it's all hand tied, one one hair at a time, sometimes two hair at a time. So very labor hair, intensive. Very labor intense. How long would a piece like this, from start to finish, take to create? A, it's a top piece. It will take about a couple of weeks to do it. Penny, we like to see what's the base underneath look like. Uh, usually, it's 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 made out of net. See be dark net or light net, but you can see this is an empty base and that's how this was before she added all the hair. Amazing. Yeah. And in every hole in the right directions, she puts the hair uh, in an angle so it would it wouldn't open and you can see the net. So there's a technique of doing it. Beautiful work. And then what do we have over here? We're making okay. wefts, is that what we're doing? Okay. I do my own individual extensions. I prepare my own individual extension. So what I do, I make the line first then I color it, I highlight, and then we cut small, small pieces out of it and make individual extension out of it. This particular one is going to be left the way it is. We're going to do the color highlight on it, and then we'll put on the client's hair. We'll match the color to the, the right. client's hair. That's how we do it here. And, and I have those, most of my employees been with me for like over 26 years already. Wow. Uh, they feel like at home and I feel like they are my family already. Right. Great. Well, thank you so much, Petey, for taking us down to the workshop. Pleasure. Thank we'll you. go upstairs and do the rest. Let's do it. We have about six or seven private rooms. The reason we like to have private rooms is because the clients would feel much more comfortable. Sure. More respectful. Absolutely. And then we have uh, all those rooms. Those locked rooms are uh, people already working. And then we have the lobby here. And then now we're going to go and work on Renette. This is where all the magic happens. Follow us. Here we are in the magic room with Mr. Pini. And who's our lovely model, Pini? She's uh, a friend from Israel. Ooh. And happened to be for, uh, came over for a beautiful wedding of her uh, nieces. And uh, she asked me to do something for her so she can look good for the wedding. What's missing is volume and length at the bottom because, you know, from using a lot of flat iron, all the things, you know. Yeah, it's a little thinner on the ends, yes. It gets thinner, it doesn't look right. And she's got a beautiful dress to wear. So I decided to put two rows of extensions, okay, in her hair to give her the length, at the same time the volume. And then we'll style her and you can see the way she's going to look. So are you excited? I'm very excited, I'm thrilled. Now who's getting married? Anybody special? Uh, very special. My niece and my nephew are both getting married. Well, that's amazing. It is amazing. Well, I'm, I'm uh, glad you're here back in the States, and I heard you're flying out tonight, huh? Yep. Back to Israel. Yes. That's how good this guy is. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> Fly in from Israel just to get your hair done and go back. Exactly. Well, thanks for being here for us. I my really pleasure. appreciate it. My pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. And I prepared two rows for her. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and start putting it on. I put it from just the front, in front of the ear, just a little bit, all the way to the back in an angle. You don't put it straight because otherwise it'll touch your ear. So you put it, put it in an angle. This way it, the hair will lay better and when you do the style, it would fall better. And then I take a little my marker and just mark the point from each point where I'm gonna do it. And now I'm gonna start doing the track. The way I do my track, it's, it's my inventions. I developed it about 15 years ago. And uh, I teach people to do it. And I use 
little tiny bits, which are pure silver, and I uh, put them in some product to uh, change the color so it wouldn't show uh, shiny. But I start from the point that I mark. Take the first little bead and run it through the thread. And I just use my special tool to lock it. So now from here, we're gonna start doing the whole track. The reason I uh, I decided to pick up this location because you don't want to go too low and you want to go too high. You want to put right where I think she, if she decides she wants to wear her up, it would still not show. And then if you don't want to go too high because you don't want it to show when the wind blows. It's a track from here to here. It's very comfortable, it's nice and secure. Okay, and then on top of this, I'm gonna stitch that little track that I have uh, extension that I'm gonna put in. That little weft was gonna be attached right into that track that I, dis I just finished doing. And the other part of the thread, I take another needle, then very gently, I go ahead and stitch it. there, a couple more stitches. That's it boss. The reason I decided to put two rows is when she's got short hair, you see you have like one level, two level. The second row will just blend that second level into the bottom to make it look more natural. Okay, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the second one. We did the first one on the bottom here. Now we do the second row, the second track. Now I'm gonna take the same, the second row of extension and then place it right on the second row on top. You can see the second row just blended the higher, the short hair into the long hair that she has, so you don't have that little step right there. You could brush it, you could do anything you want. I'm using a comb to show you that uh, the hair is such a good hair that you can use a comb, you don't have to even use a brush. Wow, amazing, do you love it? I love it. You look gorgeous, you already were gorgeous, but now, <laughs> wow. Dini, amazing. Thank you. Thank What's you the next much. step? Next step, I'm gonna shape it down, I'm gonna shape it a little bit. So it'll, I'll blend whatever she has into the extensions. So you don't have that little step right there, long hair yeah. and short hair. And then we use, uh, you can use curling iron or flat iron anywhere in your way. You can use hot rollers. Okay. You know, somebody wants to use it. Just give her a little volume and body and gorgeousness. Yeah, a little bit of touch of, uh, of, uh, of the heat. Oh, very good. That's what we're going to do now. All right, well, let's get started. Okay. Wonderful. Look at the smile on her face. That's a happy lady. So I love this look now. What are some of the options of uh, eating with this? Oh, the way I, I placed it, she can wear her up, no problem. She can wear a ponytail, she can wear an updo, you know, she can just do anything she wants. Are you thinking about an updo or you her up for the wedding? Well, uh, probably an updo. Right. 
and then let some of it and hang then, down. Exactly. That will look great. Yeah. And you can't see anything. And I can play with it, so you don't see anything. Yeah. It's wonderful. It is. Like I say, he's a master, isn't he? It is. Great job, Penny. Thank you very much. And we'll get some makeup on, do the after, and we're good. Do the touch up. Nope. Okay, very good. As we're doing the makeup here, this is actually Mr. Penny's daughter, is that correct? That's true. And what have you done with her? Okay, Shiri has a couple of extensions, and her hair texture is naturally curly. And then to match exactly the texture of her hair with extension, it's not easy, but it's, it's, I can find it. And you can see that the texture goes right in and blends very natural because usually, you know, people cannot find that hair. They curl it and they perm it and do the whole thing. And then after change of weather, it changed the whole thing looks like straight. This is will react exactly like Shiri's hair in the in, in the humid uh, time. It'll be curly, and if she blows right straight, and she decides to wash it again and then, then scrunch it, and it'll be curly again. So we have no problem. Wearing it straight or curly the way she's wearing it. And how many actually extensions she are there? She has two two rows of extensions, okay. like we did for furry net, and that's it. And you can see the color blends right in. It doesn't have that like one solid color. I usually like to blend a lot of colors into the hair, which makes it real. You can see the roots are a little darker, gorgeous, and, and makes it much real. How do you feel when you're wearing them? Is, is they very very uh, comfortable? Oh yes, I, you can't even feel it they're in. Yeah, and I noticed we had no idea that these were extensions we walked in. Yes. And he said, oh no, my daughter's wearing extensions, I'd like to show you, and amazing, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, and you do hair as well, don't you? Yes, I do. Oh. She does extension too. Wow, that's awesome. That's incredible. So do you love doing it? I love doing it, and um, it really helps people, Absolutely. and it helps them um, able to keep them more confident and easier to maintain, easier to do, deal with their own hair. So how's it working with Dad? It's good. <laughs> yeah? He's a sweetie? Yeah. Oh, everybody loves you. Thank you. Well, thank you so much for being a model. We really appreciate it, and you're so lovely. Thank you. And thank you, Penny, once again. And thank you. beautiful work, as always. Thank you. Love you. Aw. You saw it here. You, you, you saw the master. You saw the work. We're doing the finishes and cut. She's up. And we'll show you the results for the after with the makeup. Back in a moment. We got her makeup on, now we're just going to go ahead and finish, touch her up, and then we'll do the reveal. Perfect. Sounds good. Perfect. And then I'll just take this out and show you that beautiful lady. Amazing. See how the back blends really well, falls right into it on Absolutely here. Absolutely. You don't transition. see like a step or something like that. And then she can just wear it up like this and create that look. She can do anything. The reason you asked me before why I did it, why I decided to put it where I put it, because if she decides to wear her hair up, nothing shows. You can't see a thing. Nothing shows Absolutely. and it just falls right into it. So Penny, thank you so much. You're welcome. For having you come in. We, we really appreciate it. Because thank you for thank being you. so lovely. I mean, thank your parents as well for that, right? <laughs> sure, I will. And how do you feel? I feel wonderful. You look gorgeous. <laughs> thank you very much for everybody. Okay, thank until you. next time. Oh, love that's you. a lot of love. That's it. That's beautiful. And until next time, Remember to enjoy. enjoy.